Welcome back to another DP World Tour Fantasy Golf Week where I give you my six picks for the weekend and also look back on last week's scores. Let's jump right into my review of last week and of course this week's picks. I went a little bit off beam and stayed away from the big players from the point of view of saving some of them for the majors, particularly Rory. Of course he turned around and won when I didn't pick him and he was only second when I did. But besides the points, my uh, Jochen Neiman, uh, the live player, came in quite well. Tied fourth in a DP World Tour event uh, on minus 10. And he collected me 330 points, which is very good for the captain's run. Jordan Smith didn't perform as well as I expected. He only finished with a score of par. Tied 41st, but collected 105 points. Brian Harmon was the most disappointing. Um, plus six for the whole weekend. And um, tied 70th. Couldn't get much further down. Right down around the qualifier. So uh, 93 points probably deserved. It was that low. Um, Terrell Hatton. A position. A tied 31st. Um, on a score of minus two. Again, a little bit down in the rankings. Because I thought he'd have been better. Um, or a higher run. But um, didn't materialize. 111 points though, which was good. Uh, Thorbjorn Olsen, who's been a regular performer this season. Um, and he got his first pick for me last weekend. And he really has a got a very mature record with regards to getting into the scoring positions. And he served me well last year when he started back on the DP World Tour. Minus four for the weekend. Tied 21st, 123 points. And Rasmus Hoygaard. Tied 11th on minus 8, 158 points. So a total of 920 in what was a save week in a sense in that I didn't use any big players. But sometimes we're going to have to do that with regards to the actual DP World Tour events because we only have a number of limited selections of these bigger players or the higher up the ranking players. And I don't want to use all of them early season. So some might get a bit of a run on me early on in the league. But I'm still looking to get around that 1,000 point mark 920 wasn't too far off it, and I feel if I can regularly hit that, I'll do very well. Moving to this week, um, and a let's have a look at who we are picking for this week. Rasmus Hoygaard is going to be my captain. Um, I'm going with the percentages this week from the point of view of 77% of people are picking Rasmus, and his collective form so far has been two tight 11s. I did watch him over last weekend. And he actually played very solidly. Was a bit unlucky on a number of occasions. A few bad bounces cost him. So I'm actually giving him my nod for captain this week. Thorborn Yolson, another one who is highly picked. Oh, almost 60% of teams have picked him this week. So I've gone with him as well. As you know, as you know he's a regular of mine when he's available. And I'll probably run out of picks for him over the course of the year. Because I'll use up all my five possibly very quick. Um... So he's into the team as well for this weekend. Pablo Razabal, after an excellent tied fourth last weekend, has pushed himself into my ranking. So he has, and he's got himself in this week. Again, 50% of teams he's into, so he's definitely worth a look. And I don't want to give other people a start on me with regards to that. Jordan Smith gets his second goal this week. Um, seems to be a course that might suit him on 40% of teams picking him. And 146 points is his average per tournament. So that's high enough for me to give him a look. Tristan Lawrence, I avoided him last week because I've used him a number of times. Probably good. He missed the cut last week. It was the right one to do it in um, in the last outing. A 133 points average, but he does perform. He blows hot and cold like a tight second and tight 11th this year already. Definitely worth a consideration. Does like the hot weather, as we say. And a sunshine tour specialist. So uh, this kind of golf, these kind of golfing conditions suit him. So he's in there. And young Alex Fitzpatrick, um, 18th, 8th and 16th is his recent form. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys who's a slow burner and he's actually taken off this last couple of weeks. And um, I feel this season is going to be one that he can uh, score well in. So that's my picks for this week. Uh, tournament points, obviously nothing up yet. Uh, the first stage of this, uh, particularly with a cut, is to get everyone through to the weekend. No massively big guns in this week's uh, 
a tournament. So it's down to these more the journeymen, as we say, that um we'll be looking to collect the points for us. Mm-hmm.